John I think the difference between this game and my game was low. I actually uh, missed consistently at the doubles, and 100. I think he began to thought, well, think that maybe. Karen, Lowe's lady. I was never going to hit a double, and that gave him confidence, and he just uh, he just built off it because he's not. Uh, 100. Well, he's averaging around the same as what he averaged against. Well, he was averaging about 88 to 89 against me, and I was averaging over 100 against him. And. Uh, well, we can see the difference in scoreline. Taylor's averaging 95. 92, Taylor's averaging 84, but he's 10 3 up. Yep. And he's had six. And there we can see it. 180s. Uh, and he's nowhere near his best, Taylor. 140! Five to 10 in it, Taylor. Has got another couple of gears. This is a C game. 100! One, he'd probably go for a 16, or he should. 95! If he'd have gone for a 16, he'd left himself on 70. Which he's got to do. He's got to give himself the chance of shots. I know that's all he is going to get, is those kind of chances. Oh, it's exactly like Shane. 95. Yeah. Anything between 150 and 170, he leaves you plenty of them. <laughs> well, he wants 32. He's generous. He's got to at least pressure this one to one shot. Does a little bit. Maybe not enough. Phil will require 121. So he's going for a trouble 17 by the look of it. He'll go up for trouble 18 to leave the ball. Oh dear. 75. John, you require 81. Let's put the nail in my coffin the other night. Oh, that's trouble 30 in the shot? Yeah, 71 left, trouble 13, trouble double 16. 18 for tops now. See that last treble by Taylor? 41. Just put that little bit of pressure on the 81 Phil shot. You require 46. For 11 3. One's double top. Oh, he's Dropped a dart there. He, he got. He only had one. I think. Don't think he dropped both of them. But he only needed one. I would have thought. Tops. Two tens. He glares at the target. Game seven. Oh, he's got the gun for Absolutely. Fifteenth leg. He's John to throw first. Game on. And I'm not sure Russ's voice, you know, is going to last this week. Yeah, he's got a sore throat. Nobody, sounds nobody like didn't get it from me. He sounds <laughs> like Thomas the Tank Engine on a <laughs> cold November morning. He sounds like a fax machine. 60! <laughs> <laughs> Certainly does. This is for a place, then. In the last four of this magnificent tournament, World Match Play in Blackpool. 45! Taylor's won this trophy twice. This is five watches. He'd like to win another three or four times. He says before, pack him up, go to Spain, open it up half, play dice. Well, I'm, over, I'm hoping to win the lottery and I can pay him off so we can get rid of him or have a whip round with the players. 60! I know a Geordie Hitman works for well, <laughs> the Newcastle Brown Ale and hog its crisps. Shots between 120 and 150 demanded in three dart bits. As Taylor clutters. Wow. That is seven. Oh. He almost puts it at Wilson. Yep. <laughs> 140. Great reply. But yet again. Taylor just got it 140 or 136. And, and Taylor's got another great big shot that he's got to check out just to, just to win the leg. Superb adjustment to the 60 bed. There we go. Twice oh, in the corner. Oh, he could hit the molecule in the mouth of a nat's eye. It is. I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating his accuracy. Do not think I exaggerate his accuracy. 
Chris Mason agrees with me. Eighty-four. Well, I should imagine Henry he could have been a, a marksman. He's already, a, he's already an assassin, but he could have been a marksman. Here we go for double eighteen. Fallible human sometimes. Too often. Twenty-one fifty-seven. Topsy wants for eleven four. Six the wire and he searched for respectability in the scoreline. And even he waves to the crowd, come on, Jamie on. Even he needs the oof from the crowd. Oh, now, how accurate can he be? Which corner, left or right? Right. Brilliant! He can hit the eye of a fly. Brilliant! What accuracy! What accuracy! How on a scoreline! Philip Pawatia, it has world champion, greatest starter ever to draw breath, leads 12-3.